If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the college cheese. As always, we got a very big update today, a very important update, so I don't want to waste a lot of time. I want to get right into it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, those, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Oh, and that's going to get right into the video. Now, the first one that I was complaining about, I think, in just yesterday or maybe the day before his video, uh, was the inability to save pretty much anything from offline to online. Well, they did add something very important to the gameplay. I'm going to go over gameplay first if I didn't mention that because I'm so excited. But it says they added the ability to save custom audibles across all modes. Give it up for EA for finally doing something. That means it says right here in a little uh, dev note box it says if you as you change audibles in your formation at play call, they will save automatically and will not change from game to game. You will be able to do this for up to 32 playbooks. To change audibles, press LTL2 after choosing a formation in play call. So that's a really good first step. I'm super excited. We don't have to change our play audibles in our playbooks anymore uh, which it says in custom abilities though so i hope that's not just for custom playbooks because if that's the case i'm gonna be so pissed off but it says save custom audible so i'm guessing that whatever playbook you use when you're in game from the sounds of it uh you all you have to do is change your audibles and they will save from game to game to game that's so cool now they just need to save uh depth charts <laughs> which is going to be the next thing hopefully we don't they don't really mention that here but that was what i was complaining about a couple days ago in a video where uh you have to redo your depth chart every single game uh hopefully it doesn't say this here but i know when you play in an offline dynasty i don't know if it's online dynasty is the same way but in an offline dynasty, it reverts your settings back to uh, kick and uh, hold in your kicking meter, and it also changes your um, your 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 uh, your tackling percentage, your tackling window from Heat Seeker to 100% every game. Hopefully, they address that. I don't know what these issues are with saves, but that's a pretty big issue. That's what I, the one I want to start off with. It's also the first one on the list uh, in the patch notes that they read here. Now they also have a lot of other things here. Next one says tuned wear and tear to slow down the accrual rate. I can't say that I really ever noticed wear and tear, but to be honest with you, like when I play in my dynasty, I usually play online road to college football playoffs, but when I play in my offline dynasty, I do notice that my, my quarterback specifically is like negative 17 points like after like a couple of hits. It's crazy. So I'm hoping that they fix that. I never really noticed though, because to be honest with you, I just don't really feel like it matters that much. But I do notice that uh, wear and tear is a little bit extra. Uh, it also says here, it says they fixed a kickoff explo exploit where players could cause the ball to not be caught by the receiving team. So scum kicks, they attempted to address that. Um, we'll never really know if they actually fix it. It even says here, it says we will continue to monitor feedback on this and will make further changes as necessary. So they know that either they didn't patch it 100% or somebody's just going to find a new exploit. Uh, so it's something that they're watching. The next one's kind of weird because they said that they fixed this multiple times. It's fixed an issue with smart routed custom stems, <clears throat> excuse me, which resulted with a speed boost off the line at the snap. I thought they fixed that in both games, in Madden and College, uh, multiple times, but apparently it was still going on. It says slight composure tuning as well. They already fixed wear and tear, so they might as well go after composure as well to increase the impact to attributes when getting hot or cold, uh, which, I, you know, once again, these things I don't really notice. If you guys watch my gameplays, I play with, like, some of the worst teams in the game, and it just doesn't matter. If you have a fast team, this is just like Madden me. If you have a fast team, nothing else really matters. Uh, next up, they have a lot of zone coverage improvements, uh, which Madden just said that they went over in cover three. They fixed the uh, the outside uh, thirds when it comes to cover three, and they also fixed the curl flats when it comes to cover three. In this game, it says that they addressed an issue preventing curl flat zone depth coach adjustment from working properly when set less than 15 yards. That was the exact same thing they said they just patched in Madden. It also says address an issue causing curl flat defenders to continue to drift away from an eligible receiving threat close in proximity, which is something, once again, I pointed out in a video just yesterday that happened to me in a gameplay where a curl flat for some reason just like ran off and gave up like a one play touchdown so hopefully that's what they're talking about because that, th that obviously was still happening then it also says address an issue causing outside deep third defenders to bail too quickly from their alignment after the snap once again those are the exact two same zones that they addressed in madden uh with a slightly different terminology so very similar because obviously it's the same engine now it also says general cpu play call and coach suggestions tuning across all modes 
Uh, it says, Dev note, we adjusted play call situations for certain coverages to be used more frequently versus trips and bunch formations. So I don't know what game mode they're talking about specifically. That's probably, you know, like uh, superstar mode or whatever they call that. I don't really play that, uh, what they call that, road to glory. I don't really mess with that too much. So that's probably what they're referring to there. Um, it also says here, partner with a current run and shoot coach to improve the authenticity in run and shoot offense, which I know a lot of people like to use. So this is pretty cool. But it says this will include some minor adjustments to pre-existing plays and the inclusion of new plays in run and shoot offensive playbook. Now, it doesn't actually say what that is. It does give a lot of new plays, but it doesn't say what new plays they added to the run and shoot offensive playbook. But on defense, it said added new defensive plays for the nickel 3-3 over and nickel over that are designed to bring pressure from the outside. Edge blitz zero, edge blitz three, and FS will blitz zero. That's all cool. It says also added cover three buzz Mabel in nickel three over, nickel over, and nickel three three odd, which is a formation that I use a lot and I put a lot of time into telling you guys about how good the nickel three three odd is. So now it has a new concept called the Mabel Buzz. When it says buzz though, it's non matching. So to me, that's probably still not a play that I'm going to use that much, but I will check it out. Uh, it says this version is ideal for defending formations with three receivers to the same side, such as trips or bunch. It says also added cover four field drop to nickel three three over and nickel over. It says dev note this. Is a three-man rush with eight defenders dropping into coverage by default the nickel db aligns to the wide side of the field and the defensive end on the opposite field short side of the field will drop into coverage so if you guys don't know anytime you run a defense that only has three defensive linemen rushing that typically means that the rush is pretty slow but in college I can't say it's necessarily the same way as I'm just having all types of issues talking here. Now, it also says added nickel 3-3 cub to 3-4 multiple and 4-3 multiple playbooks. Added nickel 3-3 mint to 3-3-5 playbook, which is great because I, I obviously, like I said, I use that a lot. Uh, and I just put out a 3-3-5 tight defensive ebook, I think, so maybe it'll be in there. It says replace the curl assignment with vertical hook assignment on cover six and cover nine plays. So pretty much any cover six and cover nine, they replaced a curl assignment with a vertical hook, which is very interesting. Um, I do find, I mean, if that's the case, I hope they didn't replace it to the point where there is no curl flat assignment because that's what it sounds like. It says adjusted a defensive alignment and run fit issues with the plays in nickel 3-3 mint, uh, which is once again, I, I mean, I can't say I've never really noticed an issue when it comes to um, run fits, but I will have to check to see what the new run fits look like because it says that they, they, they patched that a little bit. It also says change to the fourth rusher from inside linebacker to outside linebacker in the 3-3-5 mint cover four quarter palms. Now, I'm not really sure what they're talking about there. I know that there's a guy on the edge that I typically use quite a bit that is a typical, it typically is a defensive end. So I don't know, um, maybe I'm not using the 3-5 mint, but maybe using something slightly different. Although that's that might be a completely different place. So I'm not entirely sure, but that's all the changes that they make. So even though I didn't necessarily expand on all of them, that's all the gameplay changes. We're going to go over and move on to Dynasty here. And there's a lot of changes in Dynasty too. It says fix an issue where selecting auto fix schedules and custom schedules would not correctly fix the schedule. So apparently that wasn't doing anything. So hopefully it works now. It says fixed an issue where recruits would be assigned incorrect jersey numbers. This is something I hear a lot in the comment section until position changes in the off season. It also says increases the penalty for choosing pitches that the recruit is not interested in when hard or soft selling. Uh, you know, a lot of they always make uh, changes to recruiting. I mean, that's one of the things that they go after the most. It says increased the reward for higher school grades when pitching a recruit with a hard or soft sell as well. So they def definitely are tinkering with the formula when it comes to hard or soft selling. Also says fix an issue with ACC schedule rotation in 2025 and 2026. Also updated the name of Liberty Stadium to Williams Stadium. Uh, they have a lot of little fixes like that coming up here too. It says update the name of FIU Stadium to Pitbull Stadium. Fixed issues uh, and various news news stories that had the wrong score and team winning. These sound ridiculous. It says updated the Florida single game sack record holder to Alex Brown. Did that happen recently? I'm not really familiar with that. It says included additional pop-ups in recruiting to you to inform the user why certain actions are not allowed so okay so we're gonna get more information about why you can't do certain things which i guess is good because obviously i mean sometimes when you do that and i don't really understand it anyway uh says fixed an issue where the wrong award trophy was appearing in the award screen and then it says fix an issue where coaches would not receive any job offers when receiving a contract extension now next up we have the college ultimate team this one here's uh kind of small but there are some important fixes it says fix it fix some issues with a select group of players having inaccurate appearances in game 
says Devna, we are continuing to work on this issue and have additional fixed uh, fixes planned for the future uh, title update. Says swap the following school playbooks. Now it says this is in the college ultimate team. This is something I know a lot of people have complained about when it comes to online head to head or road to the college football playoffs. It says that the Texas and the Texas A&M playbooks were swapped and the Utah and Utah State playbooks were swapped. So for the people that were constantly playing with Texas and saying what playbook is this, isn't that the same one in practice mode? Hopefully it fixed that for, there for you guys too uh, because they have it under the college ultimate team section. So I don't know if that's just in college ultimate team or if that's in the entire game, but hopefully it's in the entire game because I've got a lot of comments about that. It says fix an issue where some team cams were not being highlighted even though the user owned enough qualifying players when generating teams with recommended cams. So obviously the cams weren't working properly. It says fix an issue where sets uh, were missing pack art after being redeemed. Fix stability issues around practice mode. Fix stability issues with challenges. Fix text alignment issues. It says we have a lot, a few live services, a few live service issues that are being worked on currently. Stay tuned uh, for more updates. And then it also says fix the lineup issue where apparently Booger McFarlane and Warren Sapp were unavailable to be in the same lineup. It says announcers calling out the wrong names as well. And then it says objectives for 85 plus sets not tracking properly. Now that was actually pretty lengthy. We have next up road to glory this one's really short it says update the icon for adidas electric two cleats fix an issue where sometimes the message sent in a scenario displays as a message received and then it also says various fixes to scenario logic and text so not a lot at all really there if you play road to glory i get a lot of people saying that they're not getting enough updates to road to glory that actually play that mode and then last but not least we got a lot of new uniforms it says we also have a very various stadium authenticity updates to multiple schools but new uniform pieces for Colorado, Louisiana Tech, Northern Illinois, Colorado State, Boston College, Oklahoma, Georgia State, Texas State, uh, who I use a lot, uh, Kansas, Fresno State, Liberty, Western Kentucky, Arizona, South Carolina, Louis, uh, Louisiana, I should hopefully I have this up on screen, uh, Arizona, South, where I lost, uh, <laughs> lost track there, New Mexico, North Texas, Sam Houston State, Kennesaw, Kennesaw, Kennesaw State, uh, ULM, Tulane, and Jacksonville State. Also says that adjusted uniforms to the 2024 season version for Texas State. Once again, one of the squads I use a lot. Liberty, Georgia, Southern, and Jacksonville State. So that's all of it. Pretty massive update. Hopefully I got this video out in a pretty good time frame. Not too long. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.